it seems like law enforcement um, and, and genetics are, are starting to come hand in hand. If I go years back when I first started in law enforcement, we looked for uh, fingerprints and you did blood typing. And the blood typing was very inconclusive evidence um, with the genetics and, and DNA, knowing what you're uh, looking for in the DNA evidence, um, being able to collect the samples um, and handle the samples in, in the proper manner. Um, in a crime lab, um, technologist be, being able to, uh, to match that profile uh, with a suspect you have is just huge for us. If, if you look at the, the television shows, uh, CSI and all the other crime shows that solve a crime in an hour, you know, not including commercials, um, a lot of it is, is really bizarre. Um, the DNA evidence is there, um, but it takes longer than an hour. You know, it takes months to receive your samples back, and, and you also have to uh, convince a jury that this isn't a television show that, that they're watching at a trial, that it's real life. Uh, the DNA forensics evidence is just uh, tops. Um, it's what we look for as, as investigators. Um, it's probably the, the most cost-effective piece of evidence that we can find, and it links um, suspects to the crime.